Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we'll be talking to you about how Floyd Mayweather reacts to his fight against Jake Paul. No one expected, but Floyd Mayweather and Jake Paul got into a little bit of a brawl. The incident happened on Thursday at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami after the face-to-face -face conference between Logan Paul and Floyd. So far, Floyd Mayweather has not commented on the situation, but recently broke his silence over the fight with Jake Paul. So what did he say and what's his opinion on what happened at the Hard Rock Stadium? Logan Paul is set to have a boxing match against Floyd Mayweather on June 6th, although this is just an exhibition fight and it won't count towards each other's pro records. It still holds the love pressure for both the boxers. But you know, something viral has to happen if the Paul brothers are a part of it. These two have ruled you two for a few years now, so it makes sense that something crazy would happen at their very first face-to-face -face that Logan Floyd did. At the Hard Rock Stadium Miami, the legendary former champion met the two YouTubers. Prior to the match, the two celebrities have to do some promotional events, like press conferences, interviews, and much more. This is all standard protocol for big boxing matches, but things got out of control when Paul confronted Mayweather and took his hat. It seems like Floyd Mayweather took this fight very personally because Floyd and Jake actually used to be friends a few years back when Jake Paul was getting ready for his first match. Floyd Mayweather was the one who actually helped him with his training. When Jake had a fight against the popular YouTuber Deji, KSI's brother, Floyd was supporting him and also said that he was Jake's trainer. But things have changed. Whoever was your friend today may turn into your enemy tomorrow. So perhaps the fact that Floyd Mayweather is going to fight Jake Paul's brother, Logan, on June 6th, may Jake stand on the side and show the whole world that he supports his brother, even if Floyd Mayweather was his coach in the past. The wild scrimmage then broke out with camera crews and reporters forced to flee. In one video, Jake can be seen eventually escaping from the melee with cameras panning down to see his ripped shirt. I've got your hat, he repeated as Floyd hunted him down. A second altercation then broke out when Floyd went after him again. Jake was eventually pulled away from the scary scenes and looked to be bloodied up after it all. Clearly rattled, that didn't stop the YouTuber turned boxer from slipping off behind the scenes to fire off a cheeky gotcha hat tweet. He even went one step further and released an official gotcha hat merchandise on his website. By the end of the night, Jake and Logan put the whole thing behind them by making a few jokes about it. Jake issued a mock apology after the incident saying on Instagram, Hey, after like thinking about it, I just want to say I apologize for my behavior and I'm sorry. I shouldn't have acted that way. I'm just kidding. He also revealed he got himself a shocking new tattoo which read, Gotcha hat, in reference to what he said to Mayweather. Not long after being successful YouTubers, Jake and Logan Paul know how to keep the fans excited. Even though this match between Logan and Floyd is for entertainment purposes, it is still important to create hype before the fight in order to sell more tickets. And it's not a secret that neither Floyd or Logan Paul would be entering the ring if they didn't make enough money from it. So obviously, Jake's prank was a great way for trying and selling the match as much as possible. The entire incident was being filmed by over a dozen different people, and it was quickly posted to the internet. And as you may guess, it went viral literally within 10 minutes of the footage being out the press, and fans were curious whether Logan actually knew what his brother was about to do. And later that day, Logan did a few interviews and he commented on what went down and his thoughts on the whole thing. I think it's pretty fucking serious. I didn't expect Floyd Mayweather to try and kill my brother with all the security guards there. He later added, what the fuck just happened? I think that was a setup. I'm not going to lie. He had his boys get me before I could get involved. Logan also understands that his prank was not a joke for Floyd Mayweather and he said, this shit is so personal. This shit was going to be kind of cute and we were going to put on a good show, but now it's going to be a fucking fight. It's going to be a war. A bit later, he even decided to explain his brother's actions by saying, my brother has got a hat collection, and I think he liked Floyd's hat and wanted to add it to his collection. It's nothing personal. Floyd looked pretty emotional. He can act cool all he likes on stage, but I think my brother is doing my job for me. And in a message to his opponent, he said, we're going to get you your hat back, and sorry, on behalf of my brother. Well, it's just a funny game for Logan and Jake. It seems like it wasn't as fun to Floyd Mayweather. Floyd doesn't really care to get views and clout off topics like this because he is a boxer. He's got nothing in common with YouTube and this kind of fame. So Floyd decided to stay silent for a while and he actually never even posted about it on social media, even though literally everyone was waiting for him to react somehow. But Floyd Mayweather broke the silence on a newly released Barstool Sports interview 
Floyd Mayweather chatted with a Sunday conversation with Kayla Presley, and although the boxer had calmed down tremendously after the heated exchange, it was clear that there was still a fire burning inside him today. I had a small problem, a little problem, really no big problem, said Floyd Mayweather in the preview to the upcoming interview. Kid wanted to test the waters and tried me out. A bit later, Floyd Mayweather went live on his Instagram and said that he knows how to sell a fight. And look how many views he and Jake got from the situation that happened earlier. Probably, as Floyd cooled down, he realized that the whole scandal was actually good for him and the Paul brothers. Now the event got much more attention, meaning more money for both the parties, and we all know that Floyd Mayweather is in love with the money. Every interview he appears in, he always talks about the amount of money he will be making. And Floyd Mayweather ended the interview with Caleb Presley saying, It's one thing to sell a fight, and people can say what they want. But one thing no one is going to do is disrespect me. And if Floyd Mayweather is Logan's enemy, that means Floyd is Jake's enemy now as well. During the conference, Floyd Mayweather called the siblings two fake fighters. He said, I feel good. I'm going to go out there and perform and do what I do best. You got two fake fighters, and that's a fake fight. I'm a real fighter. And this is what pulled the trigger for Jake. Moreover, Jake took offense to the statement as he considers himself a pro fighter after being undefeated and taking down Ben Askren. Even though Logan Paul revealed that Jake had planned his prank, Jake just needed a perfect moment to start, and this moment was perfect. Jake Paul posted on his TikTok, Shh, I'm about to steal Floyd Mayweather's hat. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Before stealing Floyd Mayweather's hat, Jake was making fun of Floyd's hairline and shoes. And he also untied Floyd Mayweather's shoes for TikTok during Floyd's speech on the scene. Suddenly, Jake Paul did what he did. He grabbed Floyd Mayweather's hat and attempted to run away with it before being briefly choked by the boxer as the brawl broke out. And the fact that he stole the boxing legend's cap as he planned angered Mayweather and instigated a huge brawl. Although, this seems like a harmless joke, Floyd Mayweather really didn't like that Jake Paul did that. Money Mayweather threw several punches at the YouTuber before members of their entourage joined in the melee. Everything happened so quickly and it was hard to see who threw the shots and if anything landed. But it seemed like Jake Paul had a few shots for sure. Jake Paul later claimed one of Mayweather's staff punched him. One of Floyd's 30 bodyguards got a clean shot on me in the eye tweeted Jake Paul, who has had three boxing matches of his own in recent months. Honestly, I've had three easy fights as a pro, so I've been itching for some real action. Then Jake Paul explained why he stole Floyd Mayweather's hat. I stole this hat because he steals people's money with boring fights. However, Jake Paul was left looking pretty shaken up after a brawl erupted between him and the boxing royalty. So now I want to know your opinion. Who do you think will win the upcoming boxing match, Floyd Mayweather or Logan Paul? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more amazing videos, and we'll see you soon.